Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you recommended me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if we should see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the name of the Steam Workshop item in the comment section below and I'll eventually get round to it. But for today we are looking at another small fighter. This one features an impressive array of custom missiles that you can control with your mouse or simply lock onto a target and let them go on their way. This is the SF21 Super Fury, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a small block fighter that features light armoured blocks, it's got a bunch of Gatling guns just in case you want to manually blow up your enemies, and then below the ship we got all of these custom missiles that we can fire one at a time or all at once towards your target with either mouse control or simply by locking onto the target and just letting them do their thing. And they do a lot of damage as I found out over here with the poor old Albatross which has been painted red for a target and this is the type of damage they deal. Now what you might see in just a second which is what I'm kind of hovering around for is that there is a missile somewhere around here still flying on its path because yes it blew up the target that I set and well it's still flying backwards and forwards trying to hit something that isn't there so hopefully it's ran out of power otherwise that could be a bit disastrous later on. But anyway pressing F10 and finding the Super Fury in the spawn menu which is all the way down here. This thing is 1505 small blocks using none of the DLC packs and no mods. It's got a few scripts here and there which is mainly for the missiles as well as the ship integrity. We'll look at them a bit later. But for the moment we'll just give that thing a thumbs up. We'll move all the way around to the very front. We'll have a quick look around the outside. Then we'll fly around for a bit to see what it can do. So at the very front all the way over to here. Front and centre we got ourselves a camera to help aim our missiles to lock it onto the target. And of course to aim our Gatling guns precisely. Surrounding that we can see many Gatling guns to blast your enemies with manual firepower. And on the left and right hand side we've got a very curious set of hinges. This is a unique way of refueling a ship because you can attach this onto a base or onto a refueling ship and it will transfer everything across through the hinge. But of course we do have a traditional connector at the back there in case you don't want to use this. If we continue along the front here we can see a large hydrogen thruster to help us stop along with another camera more Gatling guns and we can see all of our custom missiles sitting right below our wing and of course below the main body of our ship where the hydrogen thrusters are dangerously close to where our missiles are sitting. But don't worry they are perfectly fine even when firing when moving so don't worry about damaging yourself. If we were to continue around the side here we'll see some nice use of the letter block spelling out the SF. As we were to continue all the way around onto the wing We'll then see our merge blocks of how the missiles have been connected onto the ship as well as a extra merge block on both sides just in case you want to dock it up or maybe just attach another missile because the amount already on here isn't enough. Coming a bit closer there we can see a hydrogen tank sitting in our little wing and as we were to come all the way around to the very back there is another large hydrogen thruster. There's a bunch of small ones to help us on our left and right. We can see a red light on this side where we'll have a green one on the opposite and another camera underneath. If we were to continue around towards the very back here, here is our traditional connector. As I said at the very start in case you don't want to use the hinges. And all the way up to here we got the first of a few parachute hatches in case something goes horribly wrong. Just above that we got ourselves a air vent to suck in some oxygen to make sure you don't suffocate on a non oxygen planet. If we were to continue all the way up and above we do have an antenna at the back there to make sure you can always find it. Going along the main body we've got another antenna, a all detector and a sound block so we can go out and explore and mark all patches that we find and the sound block is going to be for our missile setup to make sure you know what's going on and if it's actually doing stuff. But more on that a bit later. Towards the front here we then got our fighter cockpit to fly this thing around with two LCD screens where we've got this curious one over here where it says engage the linkage, clang our truth has come online and it goes on and on and on. And on the opposite side over to here we can see then our Gatling guns as well as our hydrogen in the tank. Moving along towards the front then got these little air vent type features at the front made out of some sloped steel blocks. There are some more parachute hatches. And now we'll just come and duck down underneath and we'll test out the missiles. So all the way at the bottom this is all of our hydrogen thrusters which is creating quite a nice glowing effect. And then the bottoms of all of our missiles. If we get a better look at the missiles this is what we get. 
So we've got a warhead at the front, a camera, an antenna, a couple batteries to power this thing, a programmable block, we can see the remote control block, a gyroscope, and then a lone atmospheric thruster at the back there to push it around. And they are extremely precise, considering they only have one thruster. As for the rest of the bottom of the ship, we can see the bottom of our hydrogen tanks, and then towards the back there, there is our connector. And that's a very brief look around the outside of the SF-21 Super Fury. It does look fantastic with how it's all been done. I think it's time to play with the missiles. But first, let me just grab hold of my character and come over to tab number one. We do have a few things to go through first of all, before we get over to tab number two, which is all about the custom missiles and how they work. So number one is our camera where we can view straight forwards and get a good view of what's going on. Number two is for manual control over our Gatling guns, so we can just shoot that straight forwards. Number three is simply a toggle on and off for our Gatling guns. And number four is for our hydrogen thrusters all the way around the chip to toggle them on and off. Number five is for our connector at the back there. Number six is for our O2H2 generator on and off. Number seven is for our hydrogen tanks to stockpile on and off. And number nine is for a emergency parachute hatch, just in case while well, things go horribly, horribly wrong. On tab number two, this is all about our missiles. Number one is going to be for our camera, which is the same one as tab number one, but this is how we're going to control our missiles and of course choose the target to lock onto. Number two is going to be for our missile script, where if we look down here, just below our artificial horizon, we've got this black screen, where you might be able to make out some red text, and now it's green. This is how we're going to switch between modes for our missiles. Green is going to be for our guided mode, where we can now move the camera around and change where our missiles go. And red is going to be to disable the guiding mode, so we're going to lock onto the target and let the missiles do the work, and we can hopefully fly away. So what I'll do now is just come all the way down to here and turn that into guided mode. I think that is correct. And now we're going to press number five, which is going to be to launch the missiles. So here we go, we're going to press that. And away goes the missiles. I'm now going to make it follow the mouse all the way around there. You might be able to make it out. I'll zoom in a bit more. And we're going to make it come all the way down. And there we go, we're now going to aim it towards the albatross. And hopefully it'll do its thing, it'll going to come flying straight over to here, and hopefully we'll see the explosion from this side, or it might have just hit into the mountainside because of how far away it was. I'm not too sure. That is how that goes. If we were to switch it all the way down to a lock-on mode, so that now goes red, three and four is how we're going to lock onto a target, and how we're going to unlock the target. But first of all, for that sound block, if we were to hit something that isn't correct, we'll get a little noise telling you that nothing is going on or you made a mistake. So we're just going to flip that back over. Now we're going to aim straight forwards. And we're going to aim up here. We're going to press number three. That is, <laughs> there goes that bloody missile again. I knew that thing was still flying around. Going to ignore that for the moment. We're just locked onto the top of the ship. And there goes the missile once again through the hole in the middle. Yes, coming out of that and looking down, we are locked on, we are all ready to go, so if we were to fire a missile, in the third person view, in fact, we'll bring the free camera all the way over. There goes our missile all the way over there. And th I think I've just got two missiles just floating around there, going through the middle. I'm not actually sure what is happening here. Alrighty then, I have just reloaded the world, I've spawned in a brand new Albatross for us to shoot, as well as a brand new Super Fury with all the missiles intact. So I'm not too sure what was happening there, apart from the script being a little bit screwy and getting confused. So what we're going to do is just use our camera, we're going to aim all the way towards this turret right here. We're going to press number three, and that is now locked on. We can confirm this by looking down to here, because our box now says locked onto the target. Now we're just going to go all the way up to here. We're going to say aim in this direction, third person view, and now we're going to fire one of our missiles. That missile is now going to go off and it's going to aim straight towards the albatross and we'll fly towards our intended target and there we go. But was to bring the free camera all the way over and we just sit it like so. We're going to fire a brand new one. So that's now going to drop off from the ship. Here it comes. And now it's going to fly all the way around and straight through the middle of where we are aiming. We can now just go and fire even more if you want to. So we're going to launch all of them at once and we should get a nice barrage coming from the ship. Here they all come all the way through and there they go on the opposite side where they did regain control and now they're coming back towards the albatross for even more destruction there we go and that one i think just came all the way through but damaged itself on the bottom there no it's not it's actually going to attempt to come through once again and there we go it's bounced but he has spirit he's going to keep on trying oh it looks like he just blew up 
Yes, that is what that script does and is a lot of fun to use, especially if you have something with a lot of missiles that you can stay continuously build up and keep firing out. But anyway, we can now press number 4 to unlock that. We can come back over to here to shoot our Gatling guns into the Albatross. We can deal a nice lot of damage, not as much as the missiles. But yes, that is pretty much it for what the Super Fury has to offer. So, there will be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is a fantastic little ship and guided missiles are always a lot of fun to play around with. Like I said, there will be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. And as per usual, we're simply going to slam this straight into the Albatross and see what kind of damage we can deal. So here we go in 3, 2, 1. And not too much. Quite a, quite a lackluster crash. And we've only damaged the nose, we can still fly this thing around. So it is slightly crash proof. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Bye bye.